NBA prize picks for Saturday, November 18th. Hit that like button for me. Let's get right to work. Let's go to the DFS Army Prop Optimizer. This tool lets you compare prize pick odds, sports book lines, and our projections. Some tools have one. We have both. Your code down below, Sniper20, gets you 20% off. But let's get to the plays. That's what you're here for. Zach Levine, the prize pick line is at four. The consensus sportsbook odds, we put odds together from FanDuel, DraftKings, Caesars, BetMGM, all this stuff. It's at four and a half, and there's not a ton of juice towards the under. There's a little bit, and what I think is the sharpest book, actually DraftKings minus 135, points bet is minus 130. They're not heavily juiced towards the under here, and our projection has him at 4.95 rebounds, meaning even at this push prop, even with a little bit of juice towards the under four and a half, we have value on the over four. We do all this math for you right in the tool. Let's head over to prize picks and let's see if we are going to lock in Zach Levine. I like to check the last five just to make sure he's not been like five in a row under that I might pass at the last minute. But as you can see here, he's actually gone over this number four of the last five games. I'll keep rolling with that and I'll make Zach Levine play number one. It's that easy using the Proptimizer tool. And we got it for NFL, NHL, college sports. Make sure you check it out. Play number two, it's not going to be Desmond Bain because the prize pick line is five. So the odds are there, but our projection is under. No thanks. Same thing with LaMelo Ball. Anthony Edwards, we are going to go right here. Anthony Edwards, less than 10 and a half rebounds and assists. Minus 150 at BetMGM. Uh, this line might bump just based on BetMGM. I know prize picks typically, from what I've heard, rumored, BetMGM and FanDuel seems to be where they pull most of their odds from or some combination, um, whereas I think DraftKings is the sharpest uh, props book, one of the sharpest props books around. So interesting here that it's minus 120, minus 150 at BetMGM, minus 118. Regardless, we get a little, little bit of value here, and our projection model has him at 10.08. So not way, way under, but if I zoom out real quick, there's not a ton of green plays on the board. I want to get to five or six plays total. So we'll go ahead and we'll look at Anthony Edwards. We'll make sure that this last five isn't a dumpster fire. And as long as it's not a dumpster fire, we'll go ahead and lock this in. There's the rebounds and assists. Been under each of the last two games. Taking on the Pelicans. Got just would have hooked us last time against the Pelicans. But we'll go ahead and we'll play Anthony Edwards less than 10 and a half rebounds and assists. And go back to the Proptimizer. If you didn't already, hit that like button for me. As you see, the tool was updated live throughout the day. Something just moved around. Just going to scan real quick. We're all still good here. Luka Doncic's rebounds. No thanks. Projections under. Things is where things get interesting. Um, this is personal preference. There's a little bit of value on steals and blocks under one and a half, and our projection being 1.47. Only two books have this line. I want a few more. 1.47 isn't a great projection. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pass in the steals and blocks. And I really, to me, steals and blocks are so volatile. And I've gotten burned on them a few, the last few days, quite honestly, that I'd rather stick with points, rebounds, assists, any combination of those. Uh, Grant Williams, really tight here in that three, the price pick line is three and a half. Sportsbook guys anywhere between minus 130 and minus 137, depending where you're looking. And our model has it under, but barely under at 3.48. But this is coming down to just a tighter board. So I'm going to peek at the last five. Let's see what Grant Williams has going on here. Been under five straight games. I'll go ahead and I'll roll with the under, hopefully for at least a six straight. And that'll be play number three. Back to the board. We don't have a Biombo projection up yet same thing with total three pointers made it's just not my favorite prop um and as you see we're still getting updates so maybe we'll get back to it for right now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to look at jalen williams more than two and a half assists a line between minus 130 minus 125 being the shallowest actually and minus 140 up at points bet now at minus 130 like I said, guys, two was updated throughout the day. Still got a consensus line of minus 133. And our projection has him just shy of three assists. Let's go ahead and look for the under two, the two and a half assist line. 
Jalen Williams, more than two and a half assists, has hit at each of the last two games. You know, it's not the best um, chart here, but did just play the Warriors going back to back here. And he had five assists in that game. We'll go ahead. Hopefully he gets to at least three. I don't need all five. I just need three from you. Already got four picks today on this Saturday morning. Hope you're enjoying your morning. If you join DFS Army, get access to the tool. The link is down below. Sniper 20 gets you 20% off. And I was just talking. Well, I want you to do all that stuff. I was a little bit fill in space so we can get to DeMar DeRozan. Less than five assists. And a little bit of juice at the over four and a half. But our projection model has it at 4.34. We get a little bit of value. You get a push on five. I do think that gets overlooked. Uh, push props can be uncomfortable. But if you're using him in sixes, I, I, I like the value. He's been under three of the last five games. We'll go ahead. Hopefully he makes it, you know, four for six. Odds go that way. Projection goes that way. DeMar DeRozan less than five assists. Looks like a good play to me. Uh, need one more here. And we're going to go Mike Conley. Less than eight and a half rebounds and assists. I, I like this play, which means it's going to be what's going to blow us up. But on the surface, I like it. We got minus 140 at point fed. Lowest odds all the way to minus 129 at Caesars. DraftKings minus 130. And our projection model at 7.33. It's an easy tool to use, guys. If you have any questions, you can ask in our Discord um, where there's more plays being dropped. I'll make sure you go and check that out. Also get a little implied value just on prize pick. The assist line is 5.5. The rebounds line is 2.5. That should be 8. We get 8.5. Go ahead and go under that mark here. Been under two, only two of the last five games. Was under against the Pelicans um, in that game. We're targeting a little bit here. I do want to make sure I'm not going crazy on Minnesota players. And now I'm actually... So this actually turns into a pass for me for this reason. And it's kind of interesting. Uh, just a little bit of strategy talk for a second. You got Anthony Edwards. I'm already playing less than 10 and a half rebounds plus assists. They have to go somewhere. Also playing a less on Mike Conley does not seem plus EV to me. If the play was over, I would like it. And on the surface, Mike Conley, fine. But because I don't need this whole slip to hit, it just doesn't go well with the Anthony Edwards play. So it turns into a pass for me. And I also, whereas I don't have this problem because DeRozan, and Levine, I'm on rebounds here and assists here. I was looking for the same stats on Conley and Edwards. So it actually turns this into a pass, even though I said I liked it on the surface. Does not go with the math. Same thing here with Jaden McDaniels. We will go over, and now we got Chet Holmgren. Less than 26 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Minus 125 on DraftKings, all the way up to minus 155 on BetMGM. We're projecting him just under. This is the least confident of the six plays. Let's go check out the last five and make sure that Holmgren isn't on fire. I don't think he is, just from brief memory. He has been under four of the last five games. Again, we'll roll with the trend. We'll roll with the odds. We'll roll with the projection. That's what the Proptimizer has given us. Here's our recap. Zach Levine, more than four rebounds. Anthony Edwards, less than 10 and a half rebounds and assists. Grant Williams, less than three and a half rebounds. Jalen Williams, more than two and a half assists. DeMar DeRozan, less than five assists. And Chet Holmgren, less than 26 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. Lock that in. Make our play. I play along with you. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. I appreciate you, Taylor. Drop me a comment. Let me know what your favorite play is. And more importantly, check those links out below. I hope to see you in the Discord. And it's your daily reminder that whether or not you are a DFS Army member, you probably should be. But either way, good luck in those contests, and I will see you next time.